Alright, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Corey B. So check it out. I told y'all, I made a promise and a commitment to y'all. I'm going to hit y'all with a new post every day. Um, right now, this is uh, this is the second in this new series. Um, motivation in light of a pandemic. So this is what we got going on, guys. There's there's so much craziness and chaos going on in the world right now. And there's, there's some people who are not taking it seriously. And there's other people just, you know, kind of, kind of, they're going a little overboard but what it comes down to is what the most important thing that you need to do right now is what I want you to do I want you to take some time this evening I want you to take some time this evening I want you to sit back and contemplate where you're at I want you to think about where you're at in your life I want you to think about where you're at in your job in your business you know where are things at and where would you like them to be because that's the first step first step is you got to know where you want things to be um, if you don't know where you want things to be, how are you going to get there? So, some people have been sent home. Some people have been sent home from their job and they're not able to work right now with everything that's going on. And that's unfortunate. Some people are actually being, you know, um, some employers are being really cool and they're, you know, being able to send people home and still pay their wages and things like that. That's incredible that um, some people are in that position and uh, that's a huge blessing. Um, but whether you're off uh, work and you're, you're, you're at home without pay or you're at home and you're getting paid, either way, um, I want you to take this opportunity and look at it as a blessing because it truly is. Um, God, God says that he uses all things for his good. All things. Even something like this, even something that's a crisis and, you know, um, people are getting sick. Some people, you know, are dying. Some people have, you know, um, it's terrible, but God, God moves in his own way. God is going to use all of this and he's going to touch people. And I want to challenge each one of y'all to take this opportunity this evening. And I want you to really reflect on where things are. And, um, I, I see this as an opportunity for all of us to rise and shine. Like this is an opportunity to wake up tomorrow in, in, in with a new perspective and a new life and a new new motivation. You know, you don't want to find yourself in this position again. You don't want to find yourself, you know, when some kind of crisis happens, you don't want to be one of the people who are living paycheck to paycheck, not figuring out, you know, where things are going to, where their, where their next meal is going to come from, where their next, you know, where their next tank of gas, where their, you know, how the rent's going to be paid, things like that. I don't want you to be in that situation. That's not a situation that I want anybody in. That's nobody would wish that on people. You know, that's, that's terrible. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of people are in that situation. A lot of people are trying to figure out, figure things out right now and try to, you know, balance things and figure out how they're going to pay for things. Some people are trying to figure out, how, you know, they can't get out of work. They're in, you know, law enforcement or healthcare or things like that. And now their kids are going to be at home and they're wondering what they're going to do, how they're going to take care of their kids and things like that. And a lot of different neighborhoods and society, uh, in our society, different, uh, organizations have tried to find ways to, you know, help with that situation. Um, I know people are offering like, you know, help for lunches and breakfasts and things like that. But I mean, that only goes so far. I mean, the reality is we need to have plans in place. We need to be in a better position where when bad things happen, our world doesn't crumble, you know? Um, we've got all the tools and resources at our fingertips. So, um, like I said, I, I want to challenge y'all to, to really, you know, uh, evaluate where you're at, where you're going and what you want next. Um, we need to get to a place of financial freedom, um, of, of true independence, of, of where we're not reliant upon, you know, that job, that nine to five job to to keep us stable. Like if we're out of work, or if we're laid off or if God forbid one of us has a, a car accident or something happens that puts us out of work, you know, um, a, even a huge blessing like, you know, me and my wife lost a little bit of work uh, just recently when we had I mean, we took some time off because my daughter had a baby and that's, that's a huge, cool, awesome thing. You know, now we have a, a grandchild, but we were able to take some time and spend with that grandchild and give her a little bit of, uh, uh, just help out and give some relief, you know? And, um, that's the thing. It's not always a bad thing that's going on in your life that you need to be prepared for. You just need to be able to prepared for when life is happening, things are going to happen and you just got to be ready. So 
like I said, I want to challenge y'all to do that, to take those steps, to really think about where you want to be and, uh, you know, start, start formulating a plan of how you can get there. Cause we all have the potential. We all have the capability of getting there. And, um, let's start figuring out how we can, uh, start supplementing our income. We don't need one stream of income. No one should be relying on one stream of income. We got to have more things happening. We got to have more irons in the fire. We got to have it generating cash flow so that way when we when something does happen, when there is a crisis or when, you know, God blesses us with something that we need time off for, we're not like, "Oh my gosh, you know, this is going to just ruin our world." No, it's like we're ready and we're prepared and we're like, "Okay, this is this is going to be okay and we can handle this." So that's what I want y'all to do. Okay, like I said, I want y'all to think about that. I want you to marinate on that tonight. Um, like I said, I'm going to continue giving y'all new posts, new content. Uh, I'm going to post on being Corey Bayless tonight. I'm also going to keep plugging on uh, my IG account, um, being Corey B. So I hope y'all are following me there. Um, be sure that y'all stay tuned so y'all can get these updates. Um, Go ahead and uh, give me a like. Give your boy a like. You know you want to. Ding that bell. Uh, hit the subscribe button and ding the bell so you get your notifications. Like I said, you don't want to miss out on anything that's coming. I promise you I've made a commitment. I'm going to hit you with more content every single day. Um, you know, while we're going through all this, we need to cling to each other. We need to help each other out. Continuing to lift each other up. Uh, so nothing but uh, prayers and blessings sent y'all's way. And um, until tomorrow. <laughs> Until tomorrow, it's your boy and I'm out.